Hi guys, it's Ben here after Liverpool have just drawn one apiece with Spartak Moscow in the second match day of the Champions League. That leaves us on two points after the first two games. Two games we should have won, two games we've just not been clinical enough. That was no fun at all, was it? Um, a real rancid second half there in particular. The first half we were okay, you can see the stupid goal. Free kick, which I still haven't seen the replay for. Um, I didn't think it was much of a free kick at the time. I might be completely wrong there. Obviously no replay, so Coutinho gives a free kick away and then it's just a shot straight down the middle of the goal. Karras must be better there. It's the only thing he's had to do all night and of course he didn't deal with it. Um, I don't know why there are still people that think he's going to be a success at Liverpool. It's not going to happen. He's not anywhere near good enough. He hasn't got the confidence for it, hasn't got the personality for it. I don't think he's got the desire for it. He's not good enough for this club. Forget about him. Crap. Get me a late goal for these games. Let's, you know, let's work on his consistency and his confidence because he's actually got something about him. He's someone that can actually win us games and save us points, not Loris Karras. Forget about him. We get back into it through the Coutinho goal. It's a lovely one too with Mane and a good finish. Uh, and then you think we should go on from there and win the game. Firmino is really poor tonight. Salah's quite wasteful. Sturridge doesn't come on and make much of an impact. Um, Coutinho, I thought, played well. Overall, I thought we did all right, but just never did enough to break them down. Quite similar to the Burnley game in that regard. Um, I mean, if this was a league game, I would be beating down the wall in frustration. As it is, it's the Champions League. I still, for some reason, just think in the back of my mind, we are going to end up going through regardless of tonight. Um, you know, I'd just be surprised if we get any less than four points out of out of the Maribor games and then we maybe just beat Moscow at home and then we should be all right. Um, you know, money to get six points in the Maribor games, but that's surely something we should do. Uh, they've been beaten 3-0 by Sevilla tonight. They're not much cops, so I'm still feeling pretty okay about us getting through. Obviously, it's frustrating to get just the two points in these two games when it should have been six. It is what it is. We move on. Uh, it's another game without defeat, I suppose. And, and there were some positives to take from it, I guess. Um, which I'll get into in the player ratings. Carius, forget about him, 4 out of 10, not interested. You'll be commenting saying that's harsh, don't care, forget about him, forget about him. Trent Alexander-Arnold defended okay, got forward all right, 6 out of 10. Matip didn't look particularly assured. Uh, then again, no real calamities. Uh, his touch wasn't great, I'm going to give him a 6, I'm going to give Lover a 5. Maybe I'm biased there because I'm not a fan of him at the moment, but again, I just didn't think he looked particularly good. And Moreno did all right. Six out of ten, got forward okay, a bit wasteful with some of his crosses though, and Sturridge got frustrated with him at the end there, rightly so, when he just stood up into the keeper's arms when he should have done something a bit more deliberate. Um, a bit aimless really for Moreno all, all round. Um, I still prefer Robertson, I'm probably not going to change that anytime soon. Emre Chan had one of his worst performances for a long time. Uh, don't know what he was doing in the build up to the free kick that led to their goal. Just doing absolutely nothing. He got booked dead on as well and never looked right from there on in. It's probably a you know, I'll give him a five. Um, I guess he got better second half, uh, but still really poor from him. Henderson, I thought, played well. Um, he's not a popular man on Twitter for some reason. Uh, you know, among our fans, it seems to be very split down the middle with him. I actually thought he was probably our best player tonight. Um, with an eight out of ten performance, his passing was spot on. Um, he carved out a lovely chance for Firmino. That that really well struck. Uh, cross with the inside of his foot. Uh, the found his way to Firmino it surprised him. Uh, the defender got a little touch on it though, so uh, Firmino couldn't dive it at home. But lovely ball, and there were a few of them, a few lovely crosses. The one for Sturridge late on when Sturridge should have scored. They should be two great assists for Henderson, taken away from him by some poor striking. So I think he's probably the Liverpool man of the match. Uh, Coutinho played ahead of him, and he was also 8 out of 10 for me, but just slightly, slightly less than Henderson. Um, in terms of man of the match, maybe you know it's probably probably a high rating for Coutinho, um, given his little impact in the second half. But he was the one that looked most likely to open the door, uh, gets the great goal, um, and just just looked like he was really on it. To be honest with you, um, gives away the free kick leads to their goal. Whether it was a foul or not, I'm not sure. But I was impressed with him tonight. Uh, Salah wasteful, wasteful. Um, again, can't finish. Same story, dangerous but can't finish, head at the end he should score, um, but I will give him a 7 out of 10 just for being a constant threat and not doing anything too ridiculous, uh, you know, I'm still really enjoying him being in our team. Uh, same can be said for Mane, uh, lovely assist for Coutinho, dangerous, um, took on their defender once or twice in the first half early on, I thought he was going to have him on toast all night, never quite worked out like that, Moscow just didn't quite allow it, um, I'm going to give Mane a 7 though, Firmino is a 5 out of 10, I thought it was dreadful. Um, by his standards at least, I mean obviously if he was dreadful he'd get less than a 5 but his touch was all over the place, finishing wasn't there, um, really disappointed from him, um, he hasn't scored in a while so that's a concern, 
Uh, Sturridge came on off the bench, didn't look particularly good either in terms of you know being clinical, taking chances. So it's probably a five from him too. Uh, Van Alden just kept long, hitting it long for some reason. Five out of ten for him. Frustrated day at the office. Frustrating. Uh, we can't keep having these. That's one win in six, is it? Uh, with Leicester being that win, so need to go to Newcastle and win, keep that league season as alive as possible, and obviously then we can focus on qualifying in this group, keeping alive in the league, keeping in that top four, keeping you know at least not too far back from the leaders, so we don't embarrass ourselves and be out of the race by October and November. Um, crap night, flat performance. Moscow defended well. They were going down for injuries all the time. Second half, stopping the play. The referee didn't add on as much stoppage time as he should have. We, there was eight minutes signal. One of the players went down for two minutes, and they only added on an extra thirty seconds. There were substitutions in that time. Pathetic referee, and you get you see that all the time though. Um, but look, I'm I'm not happy. <laughs> on to Newcastle we go. Um, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm about to get two thousand subscribers, guys. I'm thinking I'm about nine away. Um, you know, I'm not, not the most upbeat guy in this video, but normally we're a bit more happy than this, uh, especially on Liverpool win. But plenty more to come on the channel. We got on Saturday the day trip, Soccer Saturday the second is coming up this Saturday, so it'll be out probably Sunday or Monday. I'm going to Newcastle as well, so that'll be out too. Lots of day trips to look forward to, lots of great content to look forward to. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.